Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're brand new, welcome. I'm super glad to have you here. My name is Jessica and this video is going to be my colored handbags collection. So I have a lot of handbags that don't count as colored handbags. The black, white, gray, neutral, brown, that sort of family. But these are going to be everything that sort of deviates from that. If you scroll through my Instagram feed, which is at Chic Professor, those definitely get the majority of the real estate on there and I use them with the most outfits but these definitely get a little bit of use and I love to inject a little pop of color here and there. So I'm actually gonna be revealing a new bag at the end, but I do wanna thank the lovely Dita from The Style Synonym who gave me this idea and she did it in one of her videos and I believe that she got this idea from Bipolar Max. So thank you ladies both for this inspiration. I am going to show you two kinds of bags because that's what I own in my collection. I've got the small crossbody bags and the totes. So I will go ahead and get started with these small crossbodies now. So the first bag is going to be a gold, and I was debating whether or not gold counted as a color, but it is definitely a little bit more in your face than a neutral, and so I decided I would count it as a colored handbag. This is a Salvatore Ferragamo Walk, the wallet on chain. It's great. I have a video comparing this with the regular Miss Veras, which are just the sort of crossbody bags, which I have in black and white, so I will link that down below, as well as any video that I have discussing these bags, because I'm not going to go into much detail, I'm just kind of going to show you them. So this one's definitely the walk style. The next small crossbody bag that I have is the Bayswater Clutch in red. I absolutely love this red, and even though I find this bag actually a little bit small, the interior capacity is not quite what I'd like. I haven't gotten rid of it because I love this color. So when I find another great crossbody clutch bag that I can use like this in this color, I will replace it, but I just love this color. And this is the predecessor to the Darlie, which is at the top of my wish list right now. So this is the Mulberry Bayswater Clutch in red. The next small bag is another one that I wasn't sure if it counts because it's really more of an SLG, a small leather good, than it is a bag. But it's this beautiful pouch by Salvatore Ferragamo and I use it as a wristlet or as a clutch so that counts as a bag, I guess. And I really like this blue color. I think it just kind of adds something to mostly spring and summer outfits. My next small bags you've seen in one of my recent videos about my pink bags, because the three that are left are all pink. So the ones that I decided to keep as of now are this Prada Nylon Abisco Toad, I think it's called, which is a great bag. I'm not gonna go into detail, but I will link that video down below. But I do really like this bag. And then I also kept in the hot pink category, the LK Bennett Jess bag, which I really like as of now. And again, it's a top handle that can have a strap attached. And I won't go into detail, but I do love that. And of course, the new pink bag is a much lighter blush color. This is the Alma BB, and I absolutely adore this bag. So this is my new one, and obviously the nicest of the three and the one that I'm the most excited about, but I really do love this blush color. It's already gotten some use, and we're just now heading into spring and summer, so I think it will get a ton more. So moving into my large totes, the first one that I have that is a color is this beautiful oxblood color. This is the classic Mulberry Bayswater or the Heritage Bayswater in oxblood. I love this color. I think it's beautiful. It works with a ton of things, including the skirt I'm wearing right now. I don't actually think I'm going to use this bag today, but like, look at this match. It's perfect. I just love it. So <laughs> that, that, I just think this bag is beautiful. And I think an oxblood can almost be a neutral because you can wear it with so much, but I just think that this color is great. And I am looking for the updated Bayswater versions. I'm looking for the zipped which if I bought an oxblood would be fine, but I would probably still want a heritage one in my collection, so I would replace this scent one with a different color. I am actively looking for more red bags because I love red and I want like a bright professional red. I actually have this like specific shade of red in mind, which is hard to find. I don't want red orange. I don't want it to be too dark so that it kind of competes with the oxblood. It's like, I call it a professional red. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but it's like a bright, but a little bit deep red. So anyway, I am looking for a bag to add in that color, but I haven't found one yet. So the next two bags, one which is going to be my new bag, are both blue, and that is really all the colors that I have. I have a lot of pinks and reds and blues. That's kind of what I go for. So the first blue bag is the Longchamp Le Pliage in blue. I really like that this is kind of a dark navy color, and I love this bag for travel. I have the Longchamp Neo, and I'll talk about both um, a little bit later because they're a little different, but I do really like this bag, and... I like this blue color. The bag that I'm gonna be revealing today is this bag, which is the Dagny Dover Midi Tote, and you can see the colors together. 
this one, although it's advertised, it's called Dagme Blue, but it's, and it's advertised as a dark blue, but it really lends itself to be more of like an indigo. It's got a lot more purple in it than this bag does. I'll do a full video on this bag after I've used it a little bit and just kind of give you my initial thoughts and what fits inside and all of that. So if you have any questions about it, let me know. But as of now, this is just kind of a little reveal. It's got, it's a little dirty. I did buy it pre-loved, so I need to clean it up, but it's coated canvas with leather accessories and it's made for the working woman. It has a ton of compartments inside as well as a shoulder strap. And it's really designed to be a workhorse bag. This is the smallest of the three sizes and it's quite big. So this is the midi, but again, I will go into a whole video on this later just now to show you the color and sort of the idea of that I buy crossbody bags and big totes. So I thought I would include it as a little reveal in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and comment down below and tell me which was your favorite and also which color way you tend to add into your collection. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in a future video. Bye.